next? Who wants to come up? Michael Rooker! So I will be going to the floor for questions in a bit, but being a huge Walking Dead fan myself, uh, you'll have to indulge me, I gotta ask a few questions off the top. Everyone having a good con so far, you guys? Uh, where's the whiskey? No. Where's the whiskey? I don't know, maybe in the bottom of the cup, I don't know. Water. Um, Lori, uh, given the conclusion of, of season three, I'd, I'd like to start with you. Just shooting that, that final scene with Michonne and. Uh, saying your goodbyes there was how difficult was that? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it was ridiculously difficult. I mean, I was not only dying. The character of Andrea was dying, but I was leaving the show and saying goodbye to some of my closest friends and my Walking Dead family. So it was a, you know, it was a very emotional time for all of us. Obviously. And yeah. Michael, you've actually left the show. Twice now. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we said goodbye at the end of season one. We missed you in season two. That's then you right. came back, and then your goodbye in season three was pretty <laughs> epic. What a turn for the character. Did yeah. you ever imagine that when we said goodbye to Merle, we would all be hurt so much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for crying for Merle. One tear for Merle. That's impressive. It's very difficult to do one tear. Well, someone who was definitely uh, crying a lot of tears in that scene was, was Daryl. Uh, Norman, that was quite the performance. What did you have to do in order to uh, to bring that emotion to the surface? Did you had me kick him in the crotch. Huh. <laughs> You know, it's a drag when anybody leaves the show because we all we're like a tight family and we really like each other. So, uh, you know, it's it just sucks. So it, it's not hard to be upset about it. And I like Margot a lot, and you know, I like Lori a lot, and you know, and I'm a baby. <laughs> well, well, Steve Glenn is the universally likable character. Has done very little that is morally questionable. Um, are you just waiting to have the scene where Glenn just goes crazy and does something and everyone gets really upset at Glenn? Or are you just enjoying the fact that so far you've been pretty much the peacekeeper and the moral center of the show? Uh, I think this season... What was that? I was a robot. <laughs> was a robot? Uh, I think this season I think he's gonna, he's gonna start cooking meth. <laughs> so, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be good. Yeah. But it's been, no, it's been fun to uh, play Glenn, I mean... Uh, it's, it's fun to play his downs and his ups. I know he doesn't really swing too far to the other side. But, uh, you know, he, get, he dabbles in some trouble sometimes. Um, when you guys started the show, I mean, everyone, there was a lot of anticipation, especially from the comic book world, but then to come out to events like this and to see, you know, this packed room, people so far that they really can't even see you on stage, but are watching you on the TV sets. Did you have... Pretty crazy. Shut up, Al friend. <laughs> Did you anticipate this kind of fan reaction for this franchise? Oh God, no, dude. I mean, we we went in. We we had six episodes. That's all. We didn't know where it was going. You know, it's a it's a, it's a TV show about uh, zombies. I mean, zombie the zombie genre has been popular for a long time, but not in you know. TV. I'm sorry, it wasn't. Ever. And so, I don't know, I didn't ever expect anyone to even like it. <laughs> I mean, come well, on. we do. <laughs> I know you do. I know you all do. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> Michael, if I can stay with you for a second, uh, you just flew in from London working on Guardians of the Galaxy. I know there's a lot of... A lot of big fans. Uh... The aliens have arrived! 
Uh, so what can you tell us about uh, your character and what has happened so far? I'm an intergalactic guy and uh, my skin is the color of my lovely eyes. And um, I'm, I'm in this great uh, TV show. You know, it's not a TV show, it's a film, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a film. It's a film. You're working on a film. I'm so used to doing a TV show where yeah. you're like, you're working every day like dogs. I mean, I, I, TV people, my respect. Because Guardians of the Galaxy is beautiful. Dude, I, 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 I'm called in, I... I Hang out. I have a coffee. <laughs> chill out. I mean, I'm just like, hmm. I think I'm gonna work today. Sometime. <laughs> you know, it's, it's 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 the way I was brought up in, in the business. You know, I'm not used. I was never used to stuff like The Walking Dead, where you're like, you actually have to learn your lines. <laughs> No, it's beautiful. I, I'm having a great time. Awesome. Yeah. We had our first experience with the paparazzi. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, dude. They were like 400 yards away. And they're like little, these little, little, tiny, little <laughs> creatures in the wood line. And I'm like, ah, shh. And, of course, the next day you look and you, they got medium shots. So, amazing. I mean, their lenses must have been four feet long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, amazing, amazing. Well, Gloria, I've got to ask you about uh, Andrea as a, as a character, um, and, and Michonne as well, because a, a show like Walking Dead does have a lot of strong female characters, and I feel in genre overall, um, there are a lot more strong female characters. Do you see a trend, a rising trend of, of uh, gender equality in television, and do you think genre is leading the charge in that? Um, you know, I, I, I hope so. I mean, what I love about The Walking Dead is... I mean, there's so many things I love about The Walking Dead, but I think all of the women are awesome. And, um, you know, everybody's got a different strength. I, I think Maggie's got, you know, chutzpah and, you know, is a fantastic. Um, you know, Michonne is, you know, not only a warrior, she's got soul. Um, maybe I'm a little biased because she was Andrea's best friend, but, you know, I love her madly. Um, Carol, I mean, she's, um, I, I love how she's transformed from being, you know, a, a grieving widow into a really strong woman with fire. Um, I, I think they're all fantastic. And, and you know, I, I hope that this, this wave continues. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, you know, um, there's, there's a lot of strong women on television, and I think women like to see women, you know, do well and empower. I think women like to see women do well. I like to see women, period. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to ask a, a controversial question because it is absolutely something that we don't want to happen. But if it were to happen, Steve and Norman, how... Next question. Wait, what question. is the way? What is going on? You don't even know what he's going to ask. Shut shit. How would you... What, if they got laid? Yeah. <laughs> How would you want How to would see? you deal with that, guys? I mean, oh, you? Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you mean with, with, with each other? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to get laid on this show, to be honest. <laughs> Is that the question, if I'm going to get laid on the show? <laughs> I don't know. I think the audience would like it better if that was the question. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, never say never, you know what I mean? Well, I was, I was going to ask, how would you like to see your characters go if it ever comes to that? How would yeah, you like... Why are you asking that question? Don't even talk like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes to what? Don't punch him in the head. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do Don't you that. drink at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how bad she freaked out. <laughs> what are you holding in your hand? Carol. That's awesome. Hold it up, I'll shoot it on your hand. Wait, what are those toys? That's so sweet. Little box of oh, okay, man. well, we'll stay okay. away from that. Stay away from that hot topic, then. Um, are you guys uh, shooting season four right now? Yes. Midway through? Yes. What can you tease us about the upcoming season? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Even I can tell you nothing about it. I feel so bad because you guys waited in line to hear us say that we can't tell you anything. Um, I wish we could. I mean, I can, I can say that this season is gonna be, you know, we always come up here and say like, oh yeah, this new season is gonna be awesome. But 
uh, like for real, if you believe me right now, uh, this season is gonna be awesome. Like this, this, the scripts that we're getting are at a whole nother level. Um, you know, Norman, Andy, and I, and Lauren, everybody, we sit down sometimes and just talk about like what we're reading. And uh, I think this season. It's going to show you guys something that you guys never seen before. It's going to dive into things that you guys have never seen before and stuff that's never been seen on television before. So, uh, get pumped. Never? Never before? I mean, probably in some iteration. Okay. <laughs> Once or twice, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Rarely seen before. Rarely seen before. No. Seen only a few times. I've seen on television yeah. before. A couple off times. <laughs> well, the power out of that statement. <laughs> the only other show I can think of on television that, that does, um, you know, end its characters with uh, quite the same frequency is uh, Game of Thrones. I mean, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, dude, we ain't talking about that show. <laughs> but do you think that, uh, I mean, both are critically, you know, praised I love that series. show, actually. I love that show. And, and it's kind of got a I wish we were in that show, actually. Maybe you can be now. I can be, uh, yeah, I'm over there, I'm right next door. There you go. Yeah. Do you think, because, you know, we've finally gotten to the point with television series where the characters are, you know, on the line and then we could be uh, saying goodbye to them at any time where there is that heightened threat that the, we've raised the medium? Because it seems like... No, no, um, no, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's that either, I think... For a moment, it, it's, it's not like, what is that, that, uh, whatever island where they kill off the contestants or whatever? Survivor. Survivor. <laughs> island. It, it's, I, it's not like that. I think just the writing on TV is just so good now. You know what I mean? Breaking Bad's awesome. It's all. Awesome. I, I think killing off characters is fine as long as it serves story. And you know, I mean, with The Walking Dead, it is an apocalypse. It is the end of days. So um, obviously, people are going to be eaten by zombies. Um, but if it's just for shock value, I think that's rather cheap. So you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think anybody wants to see characters you love die, but. I don't even think, you know what, I've got to tell you, to be perfectly honest, I don't even think it's a matter of seeing a character die. It's the way you play your role. If you're walking around, tiptoeing around the set, kowtowing to every writer, director that comes on the set, because you're afraid if you, if you dick with them, you're going to die, <laughs> you know, screw that. Who wants to be on a show like that? You know, thank God, I mean, The Walking Dead is, I mean, been, I mean it's been realistic, okay? But, you know, just to do it, to be doing it and to keep, I could keep your talent on edge like that. You know, you know what? You can, you can take that and you know where you shove it. How do you feel about it? <laughs> really? well, I mean, I think that's that's overall in general, anyway, yeah. any show, not not The Walking Dead, not the not the I have their own stupid thing, whatever the hell that is. Survivor. They don't they die on Survivor. They don't really die. <laughs> if I were on that show, I'd really kill them. Dude, reality TV is rough. <laughs> Let's pretend for a second that it was a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I'd kill you first off. Probably. I'm certain at this point. How do you think you guys would fare? Are you are you survivalists or would you be, you know, running for the hills? Uh <laughs> I think like I'm I'm a I think I'm a uh uh amiable guy, so people just like having me around, so I just be protected more. <laughs> yeah. So he'd be like, oh, dude, he's totally gonna sandbag us, but it's like, ah, uh, he, sometimes he's, he's nice to be around, so it's just keep going. Yeah, and I, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, thank I you. Agree. Thank oh, you. Yeah. And for me, as far as I'm concerned, I think people just keep me around because I'm so good looking. Yeah. You know, I, I, That's why I keep looking more. And then, I mean, you know, all that sexy dirt. <laughs> what about you guys on the end? You think you'd fare all right in a zombie apocalypse? Well, at this point, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I've had, you know, how many, how many years have we had? Of Got a lot of training. I'm a complete wimp. I would hide somewhere. In <laughs> He's not. I would. He's not. Yeah, I'd go to Lucy Lou's house. Just hide. <laughs> Safety's in it. Oh, Lucy Lou. 
I saw you said lose the law. Excuse me. Uh, maybe I should go to the floor for questions because clearly I'm losing it. Do we yeah, have any do it. Hands in the air for people. You're just gonna have to shout them out. I see some waving right back there. Did everyone hear that? You gotta talk louder, baby. Uh, Excuse I'm just gonna... Use the microphone. Hold on a sec. You don't have one. Oh, whoa. Do it, man, do it! Here we go. It's like the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question is, if by any chance Daryl ever met Murphy, what do you think would happen? I think they'd go straight to a bar and get trashed if they're my best friends. <laughs> Is this a Murphy Boondock stance? Looks like Shy here, by the way. Thank you guys for that. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, guys, how are you? Um, I'm Jason. Uh, I don't want to appear crazy like a zombie, but um, I've uh, written a fun one minute uh, Walking Dead theme script for you. No, we won't read it. No, read the whole thing. I dare you to read the whole thing. No, wait, the script is just two pages. No, if you'd be game to do it with me on stage, I'd be honored. No, no, just two pages. No. Next. Act out your script up here. One question. Come on. Moderator, take it. I think we better keep it moving so everyone gets a chance to ask questions. Maybe you can pass it off to them later. Here's a hand in the air right here. Good Hi, job, I Michael. was just wondering, for any of you that are fans of the graphic novels, which characters or storylines that maybe we haven't seen would you like to see or even be a part of on the show? Or for, would you just like to see as a fan? Wait, wait, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm bummed I'm dead. I was still in awe of the script thing. Um, <laughs> can you repeat? Can you repeat that? What What are some characters or storylines that are in the graphic novels that we haven't seen yet on the show? Um, would you like to see or be a part of on the show? Uh, more More sex. <laughs> the graphic novels filled with uh, filled with people. Uh, desperate for for love and desperate for any kind of human connection. Uh, we're not. We, I mean, ever now. I mean, you. God. Uh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. You, you are amazing. Every day. Yeah, you're my hero. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got one here. Hi. Um, when you first started the show, were you ever like creeped or grossed out by some of the makeup effects? Yeah, the first the first scene I was ever in is the is the is the first one I acted in it was the first day of me being on set and it was the deer tracking the deer and, and Craig Nicotero was the first person I met and he was the zombie that I shot in the head and everybody had already been friends because they'd you know done all their press together and they were buddies but I showed up and, and Greg has blood coming out of his mouth and he's like hey hi I'm Greg Nicotero nice to meet you and I'm like who the fuck is this guy. <laughs> That was my first, but yeah, it gets kind of gross, but I think the way that Greg and his team do the zombies, it's, it's, I mean, you get used to it, but he, he sort of does them in a way where you see, like, the dying, lost person behind the monster, and that's kind of creepy, you know, when that comes out. Alright, we got one over here on your right. This one's for Steven. Uh, Steven, how does it feel being an Asian guy being with a white girl in, uh, in The Walking Dead? Because all I'm going to say is, props to you. She feels like... Is there any difference? Yeah, she feels like every other woman. Uh, I will say, you know, I'm, I'm happy to portray something that's very realistic, because that happens in real life. Uh, and I just want people to know that Asian men make amazing mixed race babies. I don't know what we're wasting time on here. Uh, come on. Yo. Uh, we got one here. Um, when you were first introduced to your characters, what were your first impressions of them? Were you like, damn, this is awesome? Were you like, oh, I wish I could have had Merle. <laughs> I, was, I, I was told that this cat was on the rooftop 
and uh, they, they handcuff him to the pipe and he's left for dead. The, the zombies are coming through the wall and he cuts his hand off. I said, whoa. What, the, the cat cuts his hand off? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I actually need a gig. I'll, I'll cut my hand off. Yeah, I, I, yeah that's, that's why I took the rope. I don't know the distance here for...